Do you ever feel like you just hit the ceiling? Like you just can't quite get any higher than where you are right now. You know that the desire is in you to take that next step and to take on some more responsibility and go to the next level, but you just can't quite seem to get there. You know, there's just something holding you back. And I'll tell you what it might be to be honest with you, is the fact that you're at your full capacity now. You can't do any more in terms of action. You know, it takes action to get to the next level. And until you expand your capacity and expand your mind and think bigger and get around bigger individuals who are doing massive things, you can't really go to that next level. But I'll tell you this, and I know a lot of you have seen the video where I talk about the fact that I'm feeling complacent. I'm feeling like, you know, what's next? And I know a lot of you guys are thinking, what's next? You've been hearing me say the same stuff over and over and over again. So I put that video out, I'll link below. Then the next day I put out the video where I talk about the next chapter of my real estate career, which is building a $100 million real estate team. And I'm extremely excited about that opportunity because I really didn't know where I was gonna go with my residential real estate sales. And then I'm gonna step out on a limb and go do commercial sales, something that has always intrigued me. But if you'll look at my life and kind of how, you know, I was a real estate agent, you know, I lost everything, came back, you know, the story there. And then I came in and I did coaching, right? It's like I was at the top of, of you know, real estate in terms of my area. And then here I go out, start a completely new career, start over from zero in a completely new career. And I've been doing that since 2017, coaching real estate agents. And now here I am, I just feel like I'm just kind of coasting, okay? And boom, I'm gonna go right back to the, down to the bottom and start another career over again, which is commercial real estate. I'm also getting into the mortgage business. So I'm starting from zero on these other, hey! So now here I am starting from zero in these completely different careers. Now, why am I doing this? Okay, I can tell you that everything that I do, I've focused on much larger vision here, whereas the mountain is much, much larger than the eye perceives. And so when I achieved everything in real estate, it's like I got there and I was like, this, this is a little hill. Okay, when I got there, I just felt like this is a little hill. This isn't the mountain I'm trying to climb. This is just a little hill. It felt like a mountain when I was climbing it, but once you get to the top, you look down and think, this is, this is a little hill. How can I go bigger? I did the coaching. I climbed that. I climbed up there. Now that's a much larger hill, but still, it's like I'm not, there's, there, I, I don't see the mountain top yet. And I think what most people do is they go through life and they try to climb the mountain. And when they run into a little gravel or a really steep part of the mountain, they just kind of stop. And then they try to figure out ways around this steep part or this gravel in the mountain that they can't quite get around. And they just stay right there. They don't, they don't really progress anymore because you can't climb up this steep, basically a wall in front of you. Okay. However, there are people like myself who run into that wall and maybe they're halfway up the mountain. Maybe they're a quarter away up the mountain. They run into that wall and they kind of look around and try to see if there's another path around this wall. But at the end of the day, they realize if I don't go back down to the bottom of the mountain and start over and, and pick a different path, that might get me to the top, then I'm never gonna get to the top because I'm never gonna climb this wall in front of me. So when I think about that perspective, it really kind of makes me realize that that's why I start over is because I'm trying to climb this massive mountain and every time I pick a path, which is real estate, local real estate, and then it's real estate coaching, Okay. Every time I pick a path, it seems like I get to a place where boom, I hit a wall and I'm trying to get way up there, way further than this wall presented itself, but there's no way around the wall. So what do you do? 
Well, you got to go to the bottom and find another path. And I think that's why I continue to start over with different careers. But if you'll realize, I never lose momentum in my past careers. With real estate, I never quit making a million dollars a year as a single agent, selling 100 properties a year. Now I'm going to put a team in place to handle that. I'm going to take it from 50 to 100 million. I'm going to start this commercial business. Okay, I'm going to go crazy in commercial. I can already see I'm already getting the the uh, I'm already becoming addicted here to the chase of these big commercial deals and I, it's something I feel like I'm very excited about but I'm not going to lose business in my res I'm not going to lose momentum in my residential. I'm not going to lose momentum in my coaching business. I'm going to continue to push there. I'm, I'm releasing the new 60 day challenge Friday, 4 PM central live right here on YouTube. Uh, it, so zero to diamond is going to be a social media platform. You can go create a profile and post on your wall, connect with other agents, DM people, create groups, the whole nine yards. So I'm gonna to continue to progress and keep the momentum going in these other careers while I'm gonna go start these other careers. And let's not even talk about the fact that I became an author and started writing. I started speaking, a speaking career. Those are just kind of like little side careers that you know are just kind of spinoffs of these main careers, right? So anyway, I can't tell you how excited I am about 2022 not just for myself and the new endeavors that I'm embarking on, but also for you and how incredible this year is going to be, I believe market wise, and just the sheer fact that I believe things are gonna get so good it's just gonna be incredible. And if you're out there building your business, doing what you're supposed to do, so many good things are gonna happen to you. I call it phone call karma. If you're on the phone doing what you're supposed to do, good things happen. It's just a matter of time. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do, nothing's really going to happen, right? It all comes down to action. But remember how I started this video, capacity. And I think that's where a lot of us end up is the capacity is the wall on the mountain. We've kind of filled up our cup. We can't do anymore. We're just kind of striving and just trying to get to the next level, but we can't because our capacity. So I'll recommend a really incredible book. It's called Elevate. Elevate. This is push beyond your limits and unlock success in yourself and others. And it's about capacity. Elevating has a lot to do with capacity. How much you can handle mentally. Right? A lot of people say, I don't have time to go work out. I don't have time to read today. I don't have time to journal. Okay, But some of the busiest people in the world have time to work out, read, and journal. Some of the most busy people in the world have time. So how do they have time, but you don't have time? Okay, it's all perspective, all right? So anyway, just wanted to share these thoughts with you. I hope you're having an incredible day and an incredible week. Um, I'll see you Friday, 4 p.m. Central. And um, let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you. Keep crushing it. Let's go.